All right, now we need to dive into the harder stuff. We need to start making the cylinder work. So we're gonna go ahead and create a serialized field for all three game objects. We're gonna th drop all three cylinders into um, our, our, our uh, serialized fields. Now we're gonna create a rotation step and we're gonna create this little function right here, which is going to create a step and every step is gonna rotate by 45 degrees. And so we're going to identify step, you know, two is going to be, uh, what, 45 times two, which is 90. So, you know, every time we uh, increment, we're going to adjust by 45 degrees. And now when we do that incrementation, we want to create a string, which is going to store a letter, and we're going to have these cylinder values. And inside these cylinder values, we're just going to go around the cylinder and see what letter is on that cylinder. So in case one, which is zero degrees, it's D. Case, uh, I'm sorry, case zero is D. Case one, which is 45, is C. Case two, which is 90, is B. And so on and so on to create this um, um, switch statement. And then we're gonna do a debug statement at the end to tell us what we got. And so when we do press the W button, you'll notice that the letters correspond with the index and we're getting spit back out the appropriate letters. Now let's go in reverse. Let's go ahead and make sure that when we press the S key or we're pressing downwards, we're rotating in the other direction via stepwise. And then we can go ahead and, well, we need to create the current cylinder. Now the current cylinder is gonna be zero. There's three cylinders total. So if this is the current cylinder of zero, we're going to mess with the cylinder 01 step. And so we're gonna drop those into here. This is how we're gonna start switching between multiple cylinders. 